Hey guys, welcome to my video, and today I'm going to be trying to build a NAS server for my house. And one of the benefits to doing this is storing all my data to be able to access between my laptop, my desktop, and multiple other computers in the house. Um, trying to keep them off one single computer because I I constantly switch between computers and laptops and it's it's a hassle sometimes trying to find a little USB stick or whatever uh, I'm trying to do it. I might be trying to uh, stream some movies that I'm that I only have on my computer and I might be trying to watch it on my laptop or put it on a big screen TV like in the living room so this is what uh, will be helpful for that and what I what I bought was a Zotac Z box it's a basic series it's the BI 323 the specs are it has a Intel quad core it's a Celeron quad core I'll I'll leave a link in the description so you could check it out it's only a hundred and thirty eight believe off Amazon and it's a bare bone kit so it doesn't come with RAM or a hard drive installed so you have to get that since it's gonna be a, a NAS I bought a little docking station USB 3 uh, to SATA 6G it's a dual bay alright we're gonna start with unboxing this uh, Z box um, it's a mini PC so it doesn't consume a lot of power which is great for NAS because you don't want something that's going to be very power hungry especially for your house Alright, so here it is. Mm. Very glossy. Wow. This looks like it it will probably attract a lot of fingerprints and it's probably scratched very easily. And you'll be able to notice those little scratches. This finish is very very glossy. Wow. Okay, there's a 4K Ultra sticker on top I'm guessing it can display 4k I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on it though so, so here's the unit on top we do have a USB I'm not sure what that is uh, USB 2.0 I believe this uh, weird yellow orange color is USB 2.0 on this and then we have two USB 3.0s on the back an HDMI port VGA optical audio the LAN port and a, well, a display port and then this is for wireless antenna oh and the power port on the bottom, this is where you'd put your stand, I believe. Yeah, it's probably for your stand. All right, we talked about the bottom, the top, and the back. Now, let's talk about the front. So the front, we have an audio jack, microphone jack. We have a USB 3.0 and SD card reader in one. Now, I have never seen this in my life. Pretty cool, actually. I don't know what to think about it at first. And this is another USB 3.0, but the Type-C connector. 
And then we have your hard drive and it looks like maybe a power or Wi-Fi light so yeah there you go that was a quick little unboxing and okay it looks like it just slides off yes okay just slides off like that all right and now Here's the first bank. Okay, sorry, let me flip this over so you can see it. Okay, memory bank one is right here, and then memory bank two is down here. And it takes DDR3L. I'll link, I'll link everything I I use for this on the description below. All right. All right then. Here we are. Um, gonna be installing DDR3, my crucial RAM. The way you do that, you look you look for the notch on the memory, and you look at it at the slot. Once you line those up, you just put it in like so at an angle and then you just push down there you go secure okay now the second slot we're gonna be putting it in like this make sure it aligns make sure it's all the way in then just oh hold on careful with these wires and just push down and it is locked all right all right So there you have the Zotac box on the vertical stand and it looks very very elegant actually. I really dig this uh, gloss black even though it's a s scratch and fingerprint magnet it looks very very good and I'd probably want this standing more than laying down especially because of the vent for that uh, CPU cooler is right on the side and I much would much rather like it free of any obstruction like the floor or uh, whatever counter it's going to be on and I'd rather have it uh, be able to suck in up as much air as it wants to so there's that and yeah 